to create a random question we need to add an activity and then we choose quiz so we need to click add to add quiz okay so right now we can type the name of our quiz or our test so in this example i'm typing test 1 2019 and 2020 semester 2 so you can also add the description in your test or quiz so this is example for test one using e-learning okay so we can edit the timing so we can open we need to enable first and can and then in this example we open the quiz on 28 march and we close the quiz on 29 march so the quiz will be up to two hours durations and then we can click save and display and then when you go to the settings symbols and then you choose question bank so that you can add your question inside the question bank so first you need to click to categories and then you need to add your own categories so add categories you type the name so for this example the name of the categories is test 1 2019-2020 semester 2 so you add the categories and after that you scroll and uh, click at the category that you have been created just now okay after that you can create a new question inside that particular category so in this example i'm using an essay type question so you click add and then you can edit the question name so the first uh, question name for this example is part a question one okay so this example shows how we can uh, give the question to the students in pdf file by uh, referring to the uh, Google Drive uh, files that we have been uploaded uh, of before we create these uh, questions. So this example, how to create question by attaching PDF file in Google Drive. So this this example is with set A, set one. Okay. So after this, we can uh, like uh, typing your question. So this is set one. Please answer your question by clicking at the uh, PDF files link below. Okay, so you can set the hyperlink for set one text. So you can uh, right click and copy get shareable link. Copy the file. Copy the link of your PDF file, and then you highlight the set one and you insert edit link, and you paste the link inside the link URL. So in this example, we are open a new window so that students will open the PDF file in new window. Okay, next is the response option. So for response option, uh, the student can respond in plain text and it is what they call optional. So we allow unlimited attachment and we allow all types of file for the students. And then for example, and then uh, don't forget to add the tags. So the tags is important for us to classify the question in order for us to what do we call um make it into a random question so we uh, add another type of question another set of question which is part a set number two okay so we are using the same uh, approach to uh, give the students question which is by using the uh, google drive uh, link for the students to uh, click and see the question of that um, part A set to. Okay, we are repeating the same procedures. Get shareable link. We copy the the link. Okay, the link URL, and then we open a new window so that the students it will not disturb the e-learning platform. Okay, the text input input is personal, and the students in this example the student required to attach at least one attachment in order to submit for their uh, test or quiz so we add the text which is part a still part a so right now we have two set of question of part a so that the students can answer either which is set one or set two okay so right now we add uh, another question for part b which is another set of questions so part b question one so this example 
uh, I will show you how to upload and how to create the question in e-learning by using image so that the students doesn't have to click at the Google Drive link and see the question in PDF file. So in this example, the students can uh, directly see the question directly by using image because sometimes uh, e-learning have some limitation in creating uh, complex equations such as air bar or some complex equation so we can upload the image of our questions so that the student can be uh, observe the question directly from e-learning so that it will be easier for them to answer the question and upload the answer directly into e-learning so we need to edit the dimension because we don't want our image to become very big okay so you add the image description and after that you can insert the picture okay so you see here the picture is already added so we edit the response option as usual so the students can respond to the question the attachment are unlimited and the student require attachment in order to submit the test or quiz and then don't forget to edit the text. For this time, the text has been changed into part B because this question is classified as part B question. The previous question is part A and this new question is part B. So we add another part B questions. Okay, part B, set question one, set two. Okay, so this is the set 2 for part B question 1 so we add the image by uploading the image so we upload the image okay and then we add some description and please don't forget to modify the dimension of the image okay so we modify it to 720 multiplied by 1019 okay so you can see here the response option. So we edit as usual, plain text, that is person is optional, attachment unlimited, required attachment one. Okay. And then we can save changes. Okay. If you forget to edit the question, you can just click at the because I forgot to add what you call the text, you can click at the settings symbol. So you can just edit back your question all file types and you can add your the text that i forgot to add so for the text we are using part b because it is part b question okay and then you can save changes and then you can click at the what you call the test or the question that we have added just now click at edit quiz and then click at add a random question so for the random question, the category you need to choose, which is test one, 2019-2020. And for the text, you choose the text, which is part A, because you wanted to randomize question in part A first. So part A has two questions and it will be randomized by the e-learning platform. So we add another question, which is part B. We type part B at the text, and then we will have two set of question in part B. So the e-learning will randomize the part B question, which is the two sets. Okay, you can save your questions and then you can see and you can preview the quiz. As, so you click at the quiz and then you can continue the last preview. So the first student has part A set 2 and part B set 1. Okay, so student can drag and drop their answer inside the attachment. Finish a time. And then submit all and finish. And then you can start a new preview for student number two. So for student number two, they have set one. Part A, set one. Okay, and then part B, set one also. So student one has part A, set two. Student 2 has part A set 1. So it has been randomized by e-learning. Okay, you can start 
a new preview also. So this time, student 3 has set 1, part A, and part 2, part B, they have set 2. Okay, so student 1 has set 1 and set 2. So you can see that the question has been randomized. So that's all for today. Thank you.